everyone what is up welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm maddie i run ed tech classroom the blog podcast and of course youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be giving a beginner's tutorial to google keep google keep is a free note-taking tool that's a part of the google suite I'm a really big fan of Google Keep when it comes to note taking, general task management, and putting together to-do lists. So like I said in today's video, I am going to be giving a complete beginner's tutorial to Google Keep. So without further ado, let's get started. There are a couple different ways that you can access Google Keep. Many people really like to use the mobile app, but here I've just gone to keep.google.com and it's taken me to this blank page here. Now because I've never used Google Keep on this Google account before, you'll see that it's completely blank and there's a section that just says notes you add appear here. So like I said at the beginning of this video, Google Keep is a really great tool to use for note taking. So if you have a Zoom call or maybe you're in a meeting and you'd like to take digital notes, Google Keep is a really great place to do that. So right here up at the top of the screen, it says take a note. This is going to be the place where you actually create new notes in Google Keep. So if I click here where it says take a note, I now have the ability to actually start typing. So let's say that I want to put together some sort of to-do list or maybe a grocery list. I can do that just by typing directly onto this, uh, onto this take a note bar here. So for example, I might type something like bananas, um, strawberries, eggs, bread, etc. Now you also can add a title to your note as well. So up here where it says title, I can just click here and I can say grocery list. And now I've given my note here a title. Now at the bottom of this note, you'll see that there are a bunch of different buttons that we can click on. The one in the bottom left hand corner here is this button that says remind me. If I click on it, you'll see that there's a couple of different options in terms of how we can set reminders. So first there are some, there are some suggestions as to when you can be reminded about uh, your, your items here. So for example, I might choose later today, I could get reminded at 8 p.m., I could get reminded tomorrow morning or next week. A couple of different choices. You also can pick a date and time. Let's say you wanna be reminded, you know, five minutes before you head to the grocery store, you can click here to actually set a specific date and time. Now, another really neat feature is you can also pick a place. This means that when you show up to a specific place, if you have your location services enabled on Google Keep, you will actually get a reminder to your device once you arrive at a specific location. So if I clicked on pick a place here, I could actually type in an address like the grocery store, for example. And when I arrived at that place, I would receive the notification. So you are able to set reminders in that way. This is particularly useful if you have the Google Keep mobile app. Unless you're bringing your computer with you, I don't find this pick place option to be too useful. So that's where using the mobile app would really come in handy. So that's the reminders. Now next here we have this collaborator button. If I click on collaborator, you'll see that my Google account is the owner of this specific note. I also can share this note with other people by sharing it to their Gmail accounts. So I can type in a Gmail account. Let's say you have a co-teacher that you wanna share your note with. Maybe you wanna share your grocery list with your roommate, your partner. You do have the ability to do that by typing in their Google account here. Then you can press save and that will be shared with their Google Keep account. Next here we have this background option. So these background options actually will change the background of the note. So if I click on red, for example, you'll see that the note has changed to the color red. If you're like me and you really like to stay organized by color coding things, you'll really love that you have the ability to change the color in Google Keep of these specific notes. If you're a teacher, for example, watching this video, you might want to keep your notes color coded based off of the subject areas that you teach, maybe based off of the different units. There's lots of different ways that you might choose to stay organized with these colors, but I do love that Google Keep has this as an option for you. You also can set a background image if you would like. So let's say I click on this groceries one, seems very fitting for the fact that I'm creating a grocery list. So you'll see that the background of this note has actually changed to have some fruits and vegetables on it. 
So again, lots of different images that you can choose from as part of this Google Keep background. Next, we'll take a look at this button here that says add image. So this button right here, basically what I can do is I can click on it and I can actually upload an image directly from my computer. I personally don't find myself using this button that often. I know a lot of people like it to create, you know, nice looking headers for their Google note or for their Google Keep notes. But for me personally, I don't find myself using this add image option too much, but it is useful to point out. Next here we have this button that says archive. I actually have the ability in Google Keep to archive notes as well as delete them. So what archiving a note basically looks like is it will actually get moved to this archive section here on the left hand side where all of my archived notes are located. What's useful about that is you are able to remove the note from this notes tab but you are able to still save it if you'd like to refer back to it later. So some people do like to use this archiving feature on the Google Note. Next, we have these three dots uh, for the more menu. If I click on that, you'll see that this is where I have the ability to delete the note. So let's say my grocery list is done. I don't want to use this anymore. I do have the ability to delete it. I also can add something called a label. A label is a really useful way to stay organized within Google Keep. Google Keep makes it really nice to, to stay organized digitally, and I like that they have these label options to keep things even more organized. So if I click on Add Label, I can provide this note with a label. So maybe I can say Groceries, and I can press Create, and you'll see that now this label has been added right here. There's a little note here that tells me that another way that you can add a label is just by typing um, you know, the pound symbol hashtag and then typing in what you'd like for your label to be. I can just press got it. So now you'll see that this label is right here and the label has also appeared on the left hand side. So if I click on groceries, you'll actually see that this note is located in this groceries label. So as I create all of these different notes and I put them under the groceries label, they would all appear here on this screen. So that's really useful if you are wanting to stay organized. It's essentially like a folder for all of the notes that fall into that specific category or label. I'm gonna go back up to notes here and we'll click back on this one so I can show you a few more features. I'll click on that drop down menu again. So we just did labels. You can also add a drawing. I don't particularly understand the rationale behind having a drawing here. Basically what it looks like is you can click on add drawing and I can, um, you know, draw on my computer. That is just a bunch of squiggles. And then I can press the back arrow and that drawing has actually been uploaded to that note. So maybe if you're someone who really likes to, you know, stay organized and jot notes by, by writing or something, that might be a useful way that you can use this feature. I'm just going to press the trash can to remove this because I don't need it for my specific note. If you think of creative ways to use that drawing feature, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd really love to hear some of the ways that you guys have used that drawing feature in Google Keep. So I'll click back on these three dots and you'll see that I can also next make a copy. Making a copy is really useful because it will essentially create an exact copy of the note. It will include the background, it will include all of the text, and it will include the label. The only thing it will not include is the collaborators and the remind me option. So if you set a specific time reminder or you add a certain, you know, a, co a coworker, a collaborator to the note, that will not be transferred over, but the content of the note itself will be. So that's one thing to point out. Then next we have this show checkboxes. I always use the checkbox feature, it seems like, in Google Keep because I am a big to-do list girl. I am constantly making to-do lists. So I really like to use these checkboxes to be able to actually check off items on my to-do list. Now, if you're using this as a note-taking tool or you're creating a specific note that's for, for notes, you might not use the checkbox feature, but I personally am a really big fan of it. I'll click back on these three dots one more time. You can hide the checkboxes. And then lastly, you can also copy this note over to Google Docs. So if I click on copy to Google Docs here, you'll see that it has been copied over to Docs. I can click open Doc. And this has been added to a Google Doc. 
So something that's really useful is if you're note taking, you know, in Google Keep, it's a little disorganized because you're in the middle of a meeting and you're taking notes there, you can actually transfer it automatically over to Google Docs. Then you can kind of clean up the file and share it with a client, with your coworker, with your supervisor, anyone that you think you'd like to share that Google Doc file with. So that's a pretty handy feature that Google Keep has as well. Now let's go back to Google Keep here. So we're back on that note tab. And now I can just go ahead and click the close button and you'll see that my note has been added here. You can do the same thing. You can add a lot of notes. I, it seems like you can add an infinite number of notes. I haven't tried, you know, hundreds and hundreds of options, but I do think you can add quite a bit of notes to this screen here. So let's say I just want to say, you know, um, some other things I have to do, film, Google, keep tutorial video, you know, record. Google Keep video, edit, upload to YouTube, and then I can give this a title and say something like, you know, YouTube um, plan. And then I can click off to the side, and now it's been added to this homepage here of all of my, all of my notes within Google Keep. Now one other feature that I want to show you on this on this specific tab here is that you do have the ability also to pin one of these notes. Pinning a note essentially just looks like it will bring it up to the top and it will always stay there. So if I choose to pin my grocery list, you'll see that it'll be at the top under this pinned category. So if you have a couple of notes that you're consistently using and referring back to, it's really nice to have them pinned up at the top so that the others kind of fall beneath it and the ones that are of the highest priority remain at the top of your screen. So I do like the ability to pin those different notes in Google Keep. So next I want to show you guys a few more features on the left hand side. You'll see that we have all these different tabs. We've been focusing the majority of this video on this notes tab here. There's also a reminders tab, a groceries tab, which is that label that I created. So all of your custom labels will appear here um, kind of in order. You also have the ability to edit those labels. So if I want to click on edit, you'll see that I can add new labels. So maybe I'll say something like STEM class. I'll press check. And now there's been a new label that's added for STEM class. So now that I've added that STEM class label here, what I could do essentially is I could um, categorize new notes and add them to STEM class if that's the category or the label that they fall into. So that's how the edit labels option works. You also can rename those labels by clicking on edit labels and just adjusting the text. Archive here is I showed you that is where all of your archived, um, all of your archived notes will go. And then lastly, we have the trash can. So if I click on trash can, you'll see that I currently have no notes in my trash, but let's say I were to move one of those notes to this trash can. Um, you do have the ability to manually then delete a note from your trash can, but it is important to note that you don't always have to do that because notes in the trash are actually deleted automatically after seven days. Um, so that is something to, to keep in mind that everything in your trash will be deleted after seven days. So keep that in mind. That's why you might choose to archive a certain, a certain note instead. So now we'll go back to this notes category here and a few more things I want to show you now in the top right hand corner of our screen. So first here you'll see that we have this refresh button. So sometimes you, you'll notice if you are a user of the Google Keep mobile app in addition to this web version here, sometimes if you write a note on your phone, it might not refresh automatically in Google Keep on your computer. So you can just click this refresh button and it will refresh and your note will appear. Next, we also have this list view here. So I personally really like to have the view that we currently have. If I click on list, you'll see that it's going to be this almost like stream of consciousness style list. So if you have like 50 notes or something, this is going to be a really long, you'll just have to keep scrolling. I personally really like this grid view, um, but it's really up to you. Again, I personally like the grid view, but I did want to point out that you do have the ability to change this to a list view if you'd prefer. Now next we have this settings button. If I click on settings, you'll see that there's a few other features that you can play around with. I personally don't find myself touching these settings really ever, but I did want to point them out for those of you that might be interested. One that I do want to point out is enabling dark theme. I oftentimes like to have dark theme on my computer just because it makes everything darker. So, you know, if you're working at night, for example, it's just a little bit easier on, 
on your eyes it's not quite as bright so if I click on enable dark theme it will actually change this to be um, dark themed um, but I'll just go ahead and change it back so it's a little bit easier for us to see in the video so another feature I did want to point out now next one I want to show you guys is one other way that you can access Google Keep like I said at the beginning of this video, there are several ways you can access Google Keep. So you can visit, you know, keep.google.com. You can use the mobile app. You can access it um, in this little menu here by scrolling down um, and clicking on Keep. One other way that I want to show you is you can actually access Google Keep when you are inside of any of the, the apps that are a part of the Google Suite. So let's take a look at Google Docs, for example. So we are in that Google, Google Docs um, document that we put together, and you'll notice on the right hand side, we have this Google Keep light bulb. If I actually click on it, you'll see that all of my notes are actually located here, which is really useful. So if you are working on some sort of file, you know, maybe you're updating a Google Doc and you want to take some notes off to the side with some reminders of action items, you can do that just by clicking here and typing and creating a note example note i can remove a label if i'd like and i can press uh, i can press done and you'll see that that note has been added here so that's another handy way that you can access google keep if you're kind of in a hurry and don't want to take the time to go to keep.google.com so another helpful tip that you can access Google Keep when you are using another one of the Google products. Thank you so much for watching today's video all about how to use Google Keep. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye, friends.